Hello, this is Goji here. Welcome to a reaction video. And today we had to one of Goji Fan 93's videos. Uh, we had to his uh, tier list of the Godzilla rankings. I did pop up near the end of the live stream, but I didn't see like the whole tier list. And it's a couple of the tier lists. But I want to hear thoughts on tier list. I do want to see what happened throughout this entire live stream also this is a pretty long live stream it's like what now in 46 minutes it's a longer tier list live stream so yeah <laughs> oh boy oh boy i'll be mean, just one for godzilla too <laughs> that'd be cool that'd be cool if he did one for godzilla he probably will he probably will. I'm not gonna lie. He probably will. He might do one for Godzilla. He might do one for Godzilla. He might. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But. Remember the Godzilla designs? I'm just guessing. He might do one for the Godzilla designs. I'm just guessing. Yeah. But with that said, let's react, shall we? Also, this is probably like a three-hour video or something. It's gonna be a long ass video. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cause let me pause and not throughout each one. Right, let's see that. Boom, all right be live guys should be live hello hello everybody okie dokie hello go all friend. right let's <laughs> let's let's get this going man it's been finally time for me to rank all these films after so long <laughs> i know a lot of you guys have been uh wanting me to do this finally so but i had to wait for uh had to wait for godzilla x kong to come out and you know that way you know we can get this good here so um okay um, also, let's see. I have to put this in. We're gonna, we're gonna. This, these are gonna be the categories here. So we're gonna do love, like, and different. I don't know if I spelled that right. Probably not. Actually, here. Let's just go. Meh. Bis bis habab. Hey, what's up? The highest order. Yo yo yo. Stephen Hyman. Hello hello. I will oh, just dislike G fan eighty six. Hello. I don't know why I put seed dislike, but hate. Uh, what should F be like for complete? Because I don't know what would be worse than hate, but uh, that's the tier that we have right here. So I don't know if it should be like utter. I don't know. Disaster. Uh, <laughs> uh, atomic disaster. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> atomic disaster. I wish you forgot those events. Atomic think disaster. Going to be at F, but who knows? Okay, so these are my categories: got love, like, meh, dislike, hate. Um, I don't know because those events just me at F. <laughs> okay. Um, F right away. Despise. Oh, Penzilla Fan 04. Despise. Mmm. Yeah, see, I feel like despise is close to hate, though, but that's a good word, too. I like I like that as well. So, Goji Fan. Yeah, because of hello, hello. Revenge, okay, guys, um, Yeah, got some good old hate and despise. Godzilla gaming music going on behind me or in, in the background. Um, yeah alphabet soup hey yeah all right i think yeah. i think i'm i think we're good to start so let's um I, I i think let's let's get this going i think we should start yeah yeah should we start everything's sounding good you guys can hear me clear you can hear the music visuals are looking good should we put this let me know in make, the, sure, make sure everything is looking good here like um <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, if the screen's a little bit, yeah, I think deep, um, the live show. I think let's start. I'll raise the volume a little bit on the music for you guys. So we can do that here. Okay. Atomic Disaster Fifty F here quite well. Yeah. Dinobot Kiryu, hey, what's up? I haven't seen your name in the 
the live stream for a while. Dinobot, hear you? Do you kind of um, want to see what the live bots live chat said? Right. Turner Jenkins rocking the old school Goji fan logo. There we go. Gets, I was wondering where the music was, like, where the music went. So, okay. There won't be spoilers for Godzilla X Kong, right? Because I haven't seen it. Um, yeah, let's... Here, actually, um, thank you for reminding me of that. If I if I get into spoilers, I will warn you. Um, but let me put something here. Um, please do not put GXK spoilers. Um, that way, uh, hopefully, people don't get... Um, spoiled. So, okay. Um, yeah, alphabet soup. I will. I will let you know. I will. I will say if I'm about to talk about Godzilla X Kong when we get there, because I'm pretty sure that's here. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Uh, Go Gojimon 2000. What's up? Sorry, if Shonen it's Kaiju. Like Roy Lopez. Hello. Hello, everybody. All right. Let's get. Let's get going, guys. We wasted yeah, enough time here. All right. So. Of course, we have the original Godzilla, 1954, and, of course, I love it. Not, yeah, of not course, who doesn't love it? Because, like, of course, that, or that I'm worried about people, whatever. No, um, it's, the more and more I watch the film, the more and more I fall in love with it, and the more and more I find new stuff to fall in love with it about. Um, and it, it's just, it is, like, the quintessential... Godzilla movie, you know. I mean, it. it oh, it, look, it the really, cat. Well, the until we get to a certain other one that we that we'll get to later. But for for now, I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, you you can't. There's there's nothing really wrong. Yeah, with I agree. The first film. I, agree. I don't want to sound like one of those because of nice boys that are like, oh, you can't. Oh no, because no, the original. It's my third favorite Godzilla time, movie. I think like, I don't know, man. Like, was it's still. You still can't, if, can't beat oh, it. I love a little bit more. Um, okay. Probably the best to drop the Godzilla uh, movie. Trey Scream, right? A big fan of your content for years. Glad to see you've returned to YouTube. Hey, man. Thanks for the yeah. support. Um, okay. Uh, Godzilla Raids again. Um, <laughs> you yeah, better Godzilla not. Raids again. I, you better not. I dislike. I dislike Godzilla's Revenge. Or <laughs> raids again, not revenge. Um, I think what's going to be tough about this list is that you know, on it depends on the certain day, I guess. But if you really were to ask me, like raids again, like what do you really think about it? I would probably say like, oh, I hate raids again. But again, hate is a very strong word, <laughs> and I don't necessarily think that there are any films that I would hate, right? Um, because I am a fan of the series, and I know that probably some people, after watching this stream, or people who are going to watch it later, they're probably going to be like, you're not a fan because you don't like most of the Showa stuff. But it's like, well, and that's a spoiler, by the way, so you guys know I don't like most of the Showa stuff. But um, <clears throat> for me, yeah, it's... Yeah, but Brains again, uh, I don't I, understand. I like What's wrong with you, Goji it, fan? It just was a... What's God wrong with you? Sequel. No! The fight scene No, God great. damn it, um, no, should... The well, story I, was not depends, intriguing. I, I, I just, I did. Bah, I can't know? say much. It's, <laughs> so it, it's dislike. Well, my tears is a It's very done close to hate, this. but, but I, I'm not going to be that cruel to it. It was on I mean, my the, uh, There are a few things that are good about it. Angurus, it was the uh, introduction but to Angurus. Brains again is in my top 20. And then uh, it was the first I don't movie like to have monsters fight see. each other pretty much like it was the I first versus I don't know why you put so you know it's, it's like, you got to give it some credit in terms of pioneering some of the stuff otherwise it's lies. you know bah. so hey i would just uh king kong versus I godzilla just... i love king kong versus godzilla 1962 um the, like uh, again a lot of people you know i i have um i have a lot of dislikes for the showa series there's not a lot of showa stuff that i do like and that's not just for godzilla that's the genre that's the kaiju genre as a whole i'm just not a fan of the showa era stuff um but king kong versus godzilla for some reason was just fun like it was just like it, it, if you want a good showa movie like 
King Kong versus Godzilla is like yeah, there, I you know, and it, and it's it, I love the characters. I, I won't say the, it's one of my favorites. Overall so plot. I love I the high. fighting in it. Like it's just. I wouldn't put an S. I, I wouldn't put an you know? S. I do um, think those it's are the, too cheesy. Like for my it, taste, it's just such a fun film, you know. And I think also because the movie, at like it doesn't take itself seriously. Like even the yeah, I do. Like, it, it's, it does it's take out itself. to make fun of all the commercialism TV. Like you know, you guys know the backstory of why of the you know the the metaphors of King Kong versus Godzilla. And uh, it's mocking, you know, the, the the movies and TVs of the commercialism of all that stuff. So at the time, and what actually, it still really work in today's cat. time. I'm so really, sure if you think about it. So, um, but ah, yeah, I, I I love it. And and then again, that final battle is so fun. Look at the uh, kitty cat. Me, at least, <laughs> I'm so sure about um, the kitty cat. Yeah. <laughs> Alphabet Soup, the Showa era of Gamera is a completely different story for Chris. Yeah, no, the the Showa series for Gamera would be all in Atomic Disaster. <laughs> uh, okay. To be fair, the first like two Gamera films I'd say would be in like dislike, but that's that's a whole different thing. So, um, will you be making Gamera or Ultraman tier list next or not? Um, I don't really know. Not sure yet. Um, I know that a lot of people just wanted me to get to this one, but maybe in the future I might, but not sure yet. So, okay, let's move on. Ugh. Okay, Mothra versus Godzilla. So this is where I'm going to start to get a lot of show of hate here. Um, oh, I, I, I no no Godzilla. so overrated. You, oh, oh, oh. I have so much nostalgic joy for Marvelous Godzilla. It was my first Godzilla movie I've ever saw. It was my very first Godzilla movie I ever saw. It has a very special place in my heart for being one of the first Godzilla movies I ever saw. Because just why? I thought you would love to love this film like everybody, but no, you just. Uh. I'm not surprised because he did say he hates the show ever, but. Thank oh God. Thank oh God. Let me just let me just see him out. Did I don't understand why people say that this is like one of the pinnacle of Godzilla. I I don't understand why. It stems from a few reasons. The fact that I'm not a big fan of Mothra to begin with. And that and that happened over years. Like my 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 I wouldn't say hatred, but my dislike for Mothra is only because she shoehorned herself into so many different Godzilla films and she keeps on dying and it's I don't know. I just I've never been that big of a fan of Mothra. Godzilla. Now I will say that will my tune so. will change when we she get didn't to die the just stuff. Hits, so. But oh, sorry, in cool. terms of like Mothra and with the Japanese stuff, I'm just not a fan of her. And so when she's literally half the film and then Godzilla, for some reason in this film is a complete and utter doofus. Like the suit is great. I love the suit, but the um, he's, he's clumsy and he gets, oh, wow. well, not killed, but he, de he gets defeated by two Mothra larvas. And I always, I've always looked at it as he got defeated by two turds and I'm just, I've never liked that. And as a kid, when I watched Mothra vs. Godzilla, I was so angry at the film when I at the end. I was like, are you kidding me? Godzilla got killed by little Mothra larvas? Like, and that's what started my disdain for Mothra. Oh, God. And the characters I don't really care about. The green. Wait, you don't care about the like, eh, whatever. Oh, it no. just I've never no. understood why this film is so popular i've i've just, just never no. never understood with it but no. that's that's just me so no. i know i'm gonna get a lot of show of hate no. but that's just no. i can't lie that's what it is so <sighs> um okay Ghidorah the three-headed monster um Ghidorah the three-headed monster i i like it's it's one of the show of films that i can watch and be somewhat entertained um again introduction of king Ghidorah, though i will say king Ghidorah, like wasn't really that threatening in this film to be completely honest i didn't feel like king Ghidorah was that like major of a foe um they do better in the later films i feel like but um yeah Ghidorah the three Headed monster i feel like again liking it more in terms of what it did for the franchise less in what the what it actually like the film itself. I, I, I think the effect that King, that Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster did for the yeah. franchise, introducing this new villain and having like a monster tag team battle was like a really cool 
step up in terms of Toho's like special effects and yeah, visual yeah, okay. movie making magic. You know, I, I think that that's it. It has a it's a it has a purpose. Um, so that that would be my my thing with Ghidorah the Spirit of Monster. Invasion of the Astro Monster, on the other hand, is meh for me. Um, this film. Oh, I'm, I think that's hate. The sci-fi I'm Toho sorry. stuff. I just don't like. Never really gravitated towards like me. Invasion of the Astro Monster. And I've seen I actually a few don't. other Toho films. I don't uh, get that it. that are like you know sci-fi stuff like the Mysterians and things. And they just Invasion of the Astro Monsters. I'm sorry, it's just so god damn boring i cannot understand the love this movie gets i just i just can't it's i'm sorry it's just boring to me i don't find any of the characters besides nick adams and these aliens i'm also including these alien shit but besides them none of the characters are interesting to me and Compared to Ghidorah the Three Headed Monster, this is a big step down, in my opinion. It's a really big step down, in my opinion. Just never. I think it's like the old, the old retro '60s sci-fi style of things. Just never really gravitated towards me. I never really fully, um, I never really fully got attached to that kind of stuff. Um, I'm more of a modern sci-fi style of of things. Um, but Invasion of the Astro Monster, you know, being a direct, I, I would consider it a direct sequel to Ghidorah the Three of Monster. I just feel like it's, I mean, I understand the story is, a, is I guess, better. Um, to me, it just didn't hit those marks. I mean, the characters are memorable. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, um, what Nick, Nick Adam, uh, you know, fantastic actor, I guess, for what it was. And, and it was cool, you know, having Akira Takarada with an American actor, that was also a pioneering thing with this film, trying to include, you know, different region, uh, nationalities of actors, I guess, you know, that, that was cool. But um, the final battle, I mean, the monsters are only in the film for like, what, five minutes. And the final battle is so anticlimactic. So it, it really, the film, it just feels like the monsters are an afterthought. So it's just meh for me, not bad, not good, just meh. <laughs> uh, Godzilla versus the sea monster. Um, very, very close to hate, but again, I can't say that I hate, hate it, but I strongly dislike it. Uh, it, God, Godzilla versus the sea monster is so boring to me. Yeah. I agree so it's boring. I can't, boring. I can't, uh, the only thing that was interesting, I guess, was seeing Akira, Akira Takarada again. And then uh, I, I can't remember the actor's name, but the actor who played as Dr. Serizawa in the first film that he came back and played as a villain. I thought that would, you know, he, he was cool in that, but in terms of um, the film itself, I just can't, I, I don't like the suit. I don't like Ibra. Mothra's in it again for some dumb reason. The, the plot's boring. It's long, slow. Um, I just, Oh yeah, and the bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. alphabet suit. Exactly the the giant condor. Like what the hell? <laughs> so, um, not a film for me. Uh, I I if you put this film on, I will fall asleep. Like I just I can't I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it. Uh, Son of Godzilla. Again, dislike. Um, you know, again, it just it has. I'm not a fan of Minya at all. Not a fan no, of Macris, not a fan of Kumonga. I feel like those monsters yeah, I agree with them. Cool I'm not the newer that. material. I wouldn't say I hate them. But them. I think oh, the um I, I, I think the 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 bug They're creatures bad. for some reason I just never got behind. Um and I just never gravitated towards that. I will say there are cute moments in Son of Godzilla for sure. Like when Minya's playing with Godzilla while he's sleeping and he's like jumping around his tail and he's like there's funny bits um i guess out of any of these show films that i have listed right now if you had to make me watch one in the dislike category i, I guess i would pick son of godzilla but I, it's just still boring to me like and 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 again the godzilla suit in this one like the worst i this is the son of godzilla suit is the worst looking suit in my opinion it is horrible it is really bad <laughs> so um yeah okay 
Oh, here we go, guys. Destroy all monsters. I also dislike destroy all monsters. <laughs> I dislike it too. I <laughs> yeah. Again, I can't say don't. Much. I'm going okay, different I between understand. this birth, I'll probably put Abra as and like people who grew up with the show of films, right? Like if you're in your Abra, 50s Abra, or 40s Abra, or whatever, right? Abra, Abra. Uh, even even older, right? That when you were a kid Strong and monster. watching uh, watching the Strong Monsters was probably like this yeah. amazing thing, right? It was like, oh my god, this is this is so crazy, seeing all these monsters on screen. But I've never understood the reason why it is so held at such a high regard because the the story is extremely slow and boring to me the characters yeah, it's just i just opinion. never could care about and by the time they and, and i'm not gonna lie though at this point i would say the show a series at least one thing i can give it the special effects was like peak i'd say at this point the whole team since it was you know they thought it was going to be the final film putting everything into it um i they were out they were on their air a game when it came to like the special effects the suits look great i love the 68 godzilla suit that's like yeah, one I of the most classic iconic suits um nah, I think again, mean, the this ending five, is also what really got me as a kid yeah. watching it just, i was so just, hyped yeah. to to have this final battle where king Ghidorah is fighting all i, know, I think it just has that we've seen i don't mind the 68 suit but, um, but i think it just has something just gets completely him. slammed down yeah, well, and there's like no chance for like him it. and it's just sort of this anticlimactic battle and it's like oh, okay my, that was i don't mind the suit meh. Just, and then then you had that um what was it bad this uh that it's saucer at the like, end that's like lights. flaming or whatever yeah. i thought that was gonna be like a new monster and it just turned out to be one of the ufos though so it's like oh okay um also the uh the aliens what are they what the key lock or whatever was that they're they're one of the most like not memorable at all in terms of uh alien bad guys so there's just not a lot for the strong monsters for me uh it's just Again, special effects and the scenes where the monsters are there, yeah, that <clears throat> is really good. But really, in terms of everything else, it's not there. Um, excuse me, I got to get some water real quick. <clears throat> okay. Oh, sorry, my throat's just kind of tickling me. <clears throat> the UFO is called the Fire Dragon. Yeah, see, it's. Mm. No, no, fire dragon. It, it wasn't a dragon, though. <laughs> it was a UFO. Anyway, so yeah, strong monster is just not there for me. I just, and again, I know I get a, I'm going to get so much hate for it, but no. Nope, just not for me. Not for me at all. Okay. <coughs> all right. Um, okay. Godzilla's Revenge. Um, if I wanted to be funny about it, uh, I'd put it in meh, but no, I dislike Godzilla's Revenge as well. I mean, I wouldn't say hate because there are certain aspects of Godzilla's Revenge that as, as time has moved on, I have sort of enjoyed it over time. Like it, it's sort of <sighs> grown on me a little bit. I think this is the big why Godzilla's Revenge has no. grown on me compared to the other show films. Can't believe God you found that category is uh, why does people love? I understand he put this like I don't mind that, but why do so many people love this film? I understand he dislikes this film, but I hate it. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Actually, you know what? No, this is not a disaster for me. It's an atomic disaster. I just can't stand this goddamn film. The only time you're ever going to give me to watch this is if I have a shitty day at work or I have the shittiest day ever. I just need something to wager at. This is the only time you're going to give me to watch this film. That's it. It's a wager film. It's a movie you watch when I'm angry. But besides that, you're never going to give me to watch this film. I would never, ever watch gabra and the fact that i did like the gabra's bad day so i think the like the reason i i like have that is it's it's just like 
funny. I don't know. So, but it's not, no, not an atomic disaster. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. This is how it's us. Um, so, uh, yeah. And, you know, Ichiro, you know, I mean, the human stuff was laughable too, but. Um, it wasn't. It was frustrating. Again, I, it was. I, I think b- despite the stock footage used, right? The amount of stock footage, I, I, it's like, uh, it's funny in a way. The Gabra stuff. I don't know. And also just seeing Mina get his butt kicked. I don't know. It's just kind of funny to me. So that's that's really it with that. So, <laughs> all right. Um, also, let me, let me again, let me know if the music is fine. Like if the music's not overtaking my voice, just let me know. Okay. Uh, Godzilla versus the Smog Monster. I actually like this one, Godzilla vs. Sidora. Yeah, I, I like Godzilla vs. Sidora. I feel. is after all these films after 1954 it's like Hedora went back to a grounded darker serious tone and I've oh, always it's... had this fascination with Hedora. I, really <laughs> I think he's an amazing character I don't know Dog why I think it's because film. he's just it's sort weird. of terrifying looking but also it's a weird so film. unique I'm sorry. compared to everything else that we've seen up to that so point um it's yeah, Christmas. So I'm sorry. That, this that, is the time that was best for me. I, I the hate dark themes film. and the political aspect of the environmentalism thing. This. They're fantastic. Oh, Again, Godzilla using the 68 so suit was God. amazing as well. Dang. Um, Boy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just, um, just I mean, it's trippy too. And a lot of the trippy stuff about the film as well. But I think it's one of the most interesting films out of the Showa series because it, it was doing something really different. Um, this is Mr. Door. Chris. Why? Chris. Uh, uh. Just why? Just why is because of a Cedar and A? I just. I feel like he's just. I feel like he's just trolling me just to let. Because <laughs> he knows I don't like because of a Cedar. So he put that in A. I feel like he just. <sighs> But then again, he, he did say in the past that he did like because of Zidor. So, uh, there's no way anybody can like this film. Uh, I just don't get the reasoning why people love this film. I'm sorry. When he does on screen, a kill means actually killing people, it's pretty cool. Seeing all this dog stuff, having Hidor killing people, that's cool. But when the Kaij, well, when Godzilla and Hidor are on screen, it's the most boringest thing you've ever seen. They do absolutely nothing but just stand there, make some faces, do some arm poses. It's barely a fight. It's barely a fight. They barely make contact whatsoever. They barely make any contact. Any content and the final battle lasts 30 minutes, and five of those minutes are them literally doing nothing. And it's the most boring thing. And the only thing I like about this movie is because it's fine. That's about it. And Dogs of Fedora, which doesn't last for long. So, yeah. I just hate this film. I. It's just. No. It's probably my second least favorite Godzilla film. It's my second least favorite Godzilla film. I'm sorry. I just hate it. I I just hate it. I hate it. It's a actually it's a time of disaster for me. I hate it. I just don't like this film. Um and and yeah. Um also Yosemite Bano, I mean, you know, we got to give that guy credit because he pretty much saved the franchise after 2004. So, um, yeah. 
All right, Godzilla versus Gigant. Okay, Godzilla versus Gigant. I am. Ah, I I want to put in dislike, but I'm gonna put it in meh. I, it's Godzilla versus Gigant is the take it or leave it for me. I can't stand anything when it comes to the human stuff, the human drama, the human storyline. Yeah, it's I boring. don't like. I, it's I, I, the only thing cool about that film boring. is Gigant. I don't care about the characters. Um. They're all it's the monster. Actually, the alien yes. bad guys are annoying. I don't, I don't like them at all. But then the monster stuff is actually pretty damn cool. Um, I like the fact that this film has a meaty climax where it's like almost what thirty minutes of a final battle. Um, hey, Paracokic's in the chat. What's up, man? It's been a long time, Paracokic. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, it's the coolest. Um, so, so cool. Yeah, like I, I would say. Uh, it's it's the final it's the final battle that really saves the film for me and and it's Gigan. I mean Gigan having this monster introduced and having it be this tag team battle with Godzilla and Angerus versus Gigan and King Ghidorah was just so awesome. King Ghidorah though was done dirty in this one. King Ghidorah barely did anything and that suit by this time was looking real raggedy. Although actually Godzilla I remember actually too Godzilla's suit also was getting real raggedy at this point uh, as well. This is where they had to switch to a new suit because there's like a scene where Godzilla roars. He does like this thing and then you see like his skin's like falling off. The suit's just degrading at this point. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the part with Godzilla with talking, that was also sort of an iconic but weird moment. Um, but it's a, it's a meh for me. It's a take it or leave. Like if I ever put this film on, I always skip to the final battle because I just do not want to watch the rest of it so yeah um okay godzilla versus megalon this this is in the same category it's literally the same deal human stuff sucks storyline sucks uh yeah boring, takes forever it's, but then when it gets to the monster putting, stuff it's very fun um and i love megalon and jet jaguar like again just, the, they bring over gigan which is fantastic actually and then you to have be honest, new character Megalon, which is the only thing I'll say. Ghidorah the three headed monster, Mothra's Godzilla reigns again, and King Kong Godzilla. And like the first six, first five short films, I do like, but after Evasion of Action Monsters. Ever hold to be Son of Godzilla, Shura Monsters, Godzilla's Revenge, Godzilla's Sidor, Godzilla's Legend, and Godzilla's Megalon. I do think that's probably the weakest ever. That's like the dark. It's when the show ever went to shit. It's we went to shit. <laughs> like, I, I don't, for some reason, Megalon too. Like, I just love Megalon. It's kind of like, it's, it's the same thing with Hedora. I love Megalon, and I also love Hedora. They're sort of in the same you know both um and uh, and and the this is my favorite show a suit uh is this this next this next set of of movies is the 73 to 75 suit i love i love this suit um let's see uh paracokic uh, no i did not delete all the, all the videos um i i i reshuffled my um whole channel um because i'm i'm just i'm i'm changing things up behind the scenes and uh, i just i just moved everything to like one playlist um depending on like what the, the like there's the legacy restored playlist which is all the old stuff that was recovered and then i have like the newer stuff that was under the cj cooper's productions banner and then i have like the new stuff um i'm just i was just i'm just cleaning up the channel um in in there's just things that i'm working on um just to to get it all cleaned up so no nothing's deleted it's just you got to go to the playlist to watch the videos so um a very long playlist you should probably it, i'm not gonna talk about it right now so um yes. anywho uh but yeah um yeah it's like that's the thing don't like the human stuff but the final battle um was so fun to watch like i love watching the godzilla versus megalon fight uh every time so again it's the exact same thing yeah. with Godzilla versus Gigan. It's just uh, half of it, not that great. The human stuff, but the monster stuff is pretty fun. Okay, now we have Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla. I love Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla. Same. This is, in my opinion, well, 
actually i'm just gonna say it too boom the mechagodzilla duology in the showa series peak like you know me not being a fan of the showa stuff but i will say the mechagodzilla films for some reason they just nailed it like i i don't i don't know how they did it but the human stuff is interesting the storyline is intriguing and engaging yeah, the I human it. characters are really in and then the monster stuff is just no, no, no. so great. Dang. Again, King Caesar being this new yeah. enemy that came out yeah, uh, so or being introduced. But uh, King Caesar is so good. cool. Like I just love King Caesar, and I really yeah, hope amazing. that Toho does something this year for King Caesar because it is his 50th anniversary as well, next to Mecha Godzilla. So I really hope that they do something with him. Um, and then. Uh, Again, moving on to the sequel, Terror of Mechagodzilla. When I first saw this film, I actually initially hated it as a kid. I didn't like it, but that's because I watched the dub version, the American version of it. And they cut out a lot of like things that make it a, a, an amazing film, you know? Um, so the when I later on, it was like many, many years later. I, I finally got to watch the Japanese version of Terror Mecha Godzilla and it it just like every, it, everything changed like it, the film just became a 10 out of 10 for me the human stuff was so damn good the human story was so damn good with like Katsura and, and uh, the aliens coming back I know I know they're technically different characters but to me they're like the same dude like I don't know <laughs> I know he got his next shot in the last one which by the way is the gore in these last few show films, very intense. Um, but, uh, and then of course the, the final battle was also intense. T Titanosaurus, I will admit, if you guys watch my other top tens or whatever, my rankings, um, Titanosaurus is not one of my favorite characters, you know, but that's a small thing. Um, I could watch these films anytime. Uh, I, I love, love it, love it, love it. So, Entertainment Corner or disagree with Mothra versus Goji, but other than that, I could agree with everything else. To be honest, some uh, more others, and I love everything Goji, but you had a... Yeah, man. No worries. It's okay. I know a lot of people love Mothra versus Godzilla. Totally fine. No worries there. Okay, guys. So, now we move into the Heisei era, where I am completely and utterly biased. <laughs> so, um... But... Return of Godzilla, it's atomic disaster. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, no. It's, uh, I love, 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 love. It, it is my, well, in fact, I'll, I'll probably put it above. Is this how tier lists work? If I put it above this, is this the number one? So you guys know Re Return of Godzilla is my all-time favorite. I don't need to really explain because I've almost my whole time <laughs> doing Goji Pan, I've talked about what I love about Return of Godzilla. Um, yeah, but I mean, again, it, it, it's it's mainly because of the fact that they brought it back to a darker tone. Um, oh, hold on, my the uh, the internet the uh, settings are telling me that I am running low on output here. Ugh. Enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Ugh. YouTube is not receiving enough of your experience buffering. Yeah, sorry guys about the buffering that, if you guys are experiencing that right now. Um, let me try and switch. I'm going to try and switch some stuff here. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, um, but yeah, I mean, they brought they brought Godzilla back to a dark root. Uh, his dark roots. Yeah, I agree. Um, and Return Godzilla is probably the, the suit is... Part like I absolutely love one of one. the best suits next to the 54 suit because it actually looks terrifying at least for the time I don't know I'm not going to say the Return of Godzilla suit's terrifying now but for the time the suit was fantastic um, I love the Cybot the close-up shots even though they haven't aged well I think the close-up shots are still really cool especially how Godzilla's like lips quiver oh it's so great um, I will say the human the human aspect of Return of Godzilla is not as strong um as as 54 but it it still is intriguing enough um i like the idea of the you know them figuring out like oh the birds and godzilla's attracted to the bird so let's put them in a volcano <laughs> like you know it's just crazy but um and and definitely watch the japanese version the american version is fine and i know they brought back raymond burr but 
the American version sort of makes a mockery of the film. Um, and it was only Raymond Burr that actually stood up for the film and was like, no, we have to have this be serious. So I do respect Raymond Burr uh, for standing up for the film to say, no, this, this has to be a serious film instead of what they originally wanted to do or making like a parody. Um, but the Japanese version is just fantastic. And the, the thing is, like, the special effects, too. I mean, everything had a higher budget. It just looks at, like that. The film just looks so unique. I don't, there's no other film that looks like it. Chaos. And it's just it's like, so cool. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's just, it is my number. It, it is my number one film um, by far. At, like, nothing will top it. And, and even minus one. I know we'll get to minus one. But even, I still, like... 84 is so ingrained into my childhood and into like my, what my, what Godzilla is. It's just like, yeah. So, all right. Godzilla versus Biollante. I love, love Godzilla versus Biollante. Uh, being a yeah, direct sequel love. to 84 and I like how there's continuity. And, you know, this is where we get into the point where this era had the most continuity out of any franchise next to the monsterverse but you can also debate that the monsterverse doesn't really have a lot of continuity good but whatever um in terms of toho's side of things um i like how yeah I agree. this film directly references 84 there's even that shot where they have like the memorial in that restaurant where it's like godzilla's footprint in in the building i like that um and uh the again the human stuff is intriguing and 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 awesome and biolante as a monster is great the uh special effects are fantastic and the 89 suit even though you know i love 84 more in terms of the suit design uh the biolante suit the 89 suit is you know would be the suit that they would use that that certain design template they would use for the rest of the uh the, for the series the heisei era even though you know and, and it obviously had minor alterations throughout the films but like that was the suit and next to shin godzilla and minus one the Heisei 89 to 95 suit design, like that look of Godzilla is like the most iconic suit look ever. Like you'll still see promotions and things using either the 94 design, the 92 or what, like it's just very iconic. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, nowadays Biolante is hard to get on Blu-ray. Yes, uh, it, it definitely has gone it's like a rarity now it's not available as easily as it used to be so it, it is pretty pricey on ebay so yeah um but i i don't it should be on streaming ser services stuff i, I wonder I, th I think pluto tv has it available i'm not sure but um but yeah balante is great it's a fantastic story yeah it's very unique um it's yeah it's great all right godzilla versus king Ghidorah. this one i will put in like not as strong um you know again i have um, you know, again, I have a lot of bias with the Heisei series. I love the Heisei series, but uh, this is King of Dora. Godzilla vs. King of Dora, I would say, was a little bit of a step down just because it went a little more goofy. And it's for me, to be it's... honest, this film seems to be the most disconnected out of the whole uh, Heisei era because of the whole time travel thing. I still fully, or I still sort of don't fully understand <laughs> the whole time travel thing. Um, it's still kind of funny to me. Uh, yeah. Godzilla but um is... still it's just... very entertaining for what it is um the human stuff because of the audrey love i agree with everything you said about it and because of sponsor i agree because it was king of door oh uh, boy i think it's one of the most overrated guns of films i i just don't love this film i just it's such a major letdown from the previous two films when you go from these to this, like, don't get me wrong, the kaiju action stuff is cool. Well, the kaiju fights are cool. But the city destruction scenes, I'm sorry. Do the judges pleading a lot of the same shots because it was by a lot of just different angles and a different city. That's legit all they're doing. They're just painting a lot of those same shots, just different angles. That's all they're doing. That's legit all they're doing. Painting a lot of those same shots. Stuff is okay. Um, but 
Godzilla himself is fantastic. King Ghidorah obviously being a little, a lot more intimidating than he was in the Showa stuff. And also we got introduced to Mecha King Ghidorah, which is like so freaking cool. Um, so I, I like that. And uh, I think it was sort of like at this point, maybe up until Destroya, where the films in terms of special effects and the way the films looked sort of plateaued. They didn't really get any better looking, I guess, at this point. Uh, but then when like Destroyer comes along, I feel they put a little bit more into the budget, but um, that's, you know, that's that. I do not, oh gosh, Nico's in here. I do, I don't think Raids Again should be an F with all due respect. Nico, what are you talking about? Yeah, oh wait, no, it, oh, you think it should be an F. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, again, Atomic Disaster and Hate are very strong, like very, very strong. <laughs> so uh madu i just joined and need context on why mothra versus godzilla is so low uh i just don't i just don't care for mothra as a character in in most cases and i just found the film extremely boring and i also didn't like the fact that godzilla got defeated by two turds like just not not my favorite so yeah um so yeah godzilla versus king Ghidorah, though fantastic film though very entertaining all right godzilla versus mothra this is to be honest this is the only film out of the heisei series that i dislike again Oh, Mothra. Wow. Oh. Um, but there's a lot of downgrades. But it's so ironic, though, because uh, Godzilla vs. Mothra, in terms of the Heisei stuff, was like the best selling film out of the franchise at that point, right? Like, I think it was like it sold many, many tickets and all that stuff. But in my opinion, I think um, it, it took a big dip in quality for the Heisei series. Yeah. Godzilla's roar went extremely higher pitch. It didn't have that bellowing 84 roar that they kept for the first three films, and then they just dropped it to have this higher pitch roar. Um, uh, Madhu, opinion didn't change over the years on Mothra vs. Godzilla? No, no, no. no, Not the show one, yeah. Uh, but again, for the Heisei Mothra vs. Godzilla, or Godzilla vs. Mothra, whatever, um, yeah, Godzilla seemed to be nerfed a little bit. His beam effect too, like weird sound effect too, very light toned. Mothra herself was just way too uh, puppet-like and and uh, just, I don't know, she just didn't feel realistic at all. Um, that's, that's just my opinion with that. And again, as much as I love the Heisei stuff, again, as, as iconic and as much as I love Heisei, I just can't get behind this film. It, it's just boring. The characters are not interesting. And the final battle is not interesting because Godzilla is just fighting two flying puppets. Like, I just, I can't get behind it. It's just not that interesting to watch. Um, music's still great. I forgot to mention the music with all these films. Uh, I'll just say now, in terms of music, soundtracks for all these films, guys, even the ones that I dislike, um, all the film soundtracks are fantastic. There's no Godzilla film that I don't like the soundtrack. So just know that going into it, that I like all, every single soundtrack, including Raids Again, Son of Godzilla, like all that. Like, yeah. So, oh my God, Nico's here. What is your, <laughs> enjoying your streams? <laughs> you're so funny, Nico. Because I know you're judging me, Nico. That's why. That's why. So I will say the one good thing about Mo uh, Godzilla versus Mothra um, is Batra. Batra is probably the only thing about the film that is awesome. And I hate the fact that we've never seen Batra again. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. The highest order. Do you like 84 more than 54? Oh, of course. Yes. Tremendously. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla. We're going to go back up to like. Um, yeah. This, you know, I have my birthday movie. Um, you know, it's they they went back up a little bit you know they they had a little bit of a dip with with moth with godzilla versus Mothra, but then they brought it back um you know got a little bit better in terms of quality storytelling overall stuff like that um it's a it's it's definitely a way more um interesting and engaging story than the last one um yeah. uh, madu we'll, we'll get to minus one don't worry <laughs> um but uh, yeah, I, I love this film. The, the one thing that's weird to me is Rodan and the relationship between baby Godzilla and Godzilla. It's weird. I, like, are they like distant brothers, cousins, whatever? It's, it's kind of interesting. 
Um, but Super Mecha Godzilla himself, or I guess Mecha Godzilla ninety three, not a great Mecha Godzilla in my opinion. Nico's gonna kill me, but not he, only because Mecha Godzilla was a giant uh, tank essentially, and there wasn't a lot of uh, he just didn't have a lot of like movement to him, unlike the Showa version and when we get to cure you with the Millennium stuff. But overall, though, I still think that um, I still think that Mecha Godzilla is fantastic in this though i mean he's still intimidating he still kicks godzilla's butt and um again for a film that was supposed to be the end of the heisei series uh i think it you know it, yeah it was if it if the series ended with this film i wouldn't be that disappointed i do love destroy a lot more but if this were to be the last one I'm, i'd be okay with that i'd be like all right yeah that was a good way to end it you know um yeah not bad okay Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Um, I like this one too. I'm not going to put it in love, even though Space Godzilla is my all-time favorite Godzilla enemy, um, only next to Gigan, really. But I do understand that Space Godzilla has its faults. I do understand that it's not, you know, that it's sort of this film that they felt, it just uninspired, and it was like, hey, we have to have a film come out for the anniversary. And it's kind of weird that this was the film we got in terms yeah. of like Godzilla's big anniversary. Uh, Godzilla's Space Godzilla. Still, uh, it would have been his 40th. Yeah, 40th anniversary. Um, probably been in my top 20. But I do uh, we'll probably give it like a solid time. For some yes. reason, I, I think it's because of Space Godzilla song. or anything like I that. I, just, so I, I find the film I, very I, enjoyable. I like, it's fun. I don't know. It's very fun. Um, I actually Mulgera, love it more. I will say more not that goodness. interesting. Not a big fan of Mogera, yeah. really. Never been. I'll say that. Uh, it's kind of there. I actually kind of like it when Mogera gets completely destroyed by Space Godzilla. It's like, yeah, take, take that boring thing out. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, um, it the the one thing also that I that I love about um, this film too is the ending. I I actually really love how. Uh, the ending has the credits, the music at the end. Um, for some reason, I just really love that track, like how they're they're off on the you know they're next to the beach and the music starts playing. It's just really serene and nice. Um, but definitely happy that the series didn't end with this film because that would have been a little bit more disappointing. Um, but it's still I don't know. It's just fun. I, and yeah. And again, having with like what uh, Mothra versus Godzilla, or I mean Godzilla versus Mothra and Mecha Godzilla ninety three that bringing back the, the, you know, the consistency with the storytelling of the Heisei series with like Mickey's character. Fantastic. You know, so it, it sort of keeps the human stuff, the human drama interesting um, as, as you go along with it. So yeah, I agree. Uh, Roy Lopez, the film feels the most Showa. Oh yeah. Oh, also um, I know a lot of people don't like little Godzilla, but I freaking love little Godzilla to me. That's what Mina should have been <laughs> like. That's just, you know, that's just me. So <clears throat> All right. Okay. Um, here we have Destroya. Love. I mean, again, it's it's like it's full circle. I feel with the first film, and th again, everything about it. And I know I know that Destroya has some detractors, and I actually know that the film in recent years has been getting less popular and I don't understand why. Uh, it's like some films get more popular over time. Some films were popular, but then they start to lose their popularity. I don't really know why. I think it's, I, I, I don't know. But Destroya is so good as a film in especially, especially in terms of a finale. Like this, if this was the final Godzilla film of all time, right? Like we never got another film this would be the best way to go out, I feel, at least at the time. Like, I just really, I really think. Destroya as an enemy is really cool. I do think Destroya is a little weak, though, compared to how intimidating he looks. But I will say, though, having him, having the final, like, enemy for Godzilla be a monster created by the Oxygen Destroyer is, like, one of the most amazing things. Like, that's such a brilliant idea, right? The music is great. I mean, it's like everything. They just went out with a huge, huge bang with this film. Um, they did. Having a lot of nods to the 54 Easy. films. It's having uh, oh, Emiko come back as an older lady. Like that. 
oh, like bringing that cannon there was so good. Um, and then Godzilla Jr. just being so awesome. Uh, and then, of course, the whole, you know, meltdown, got burning Godzilla plot line, uh, super sad. And this was the first film as a kid. Like, I remember this is like the first time watching this film. I remember vividly. Uh, I will never forget. I remember vividly being, at, you know, I was at my parents' house. I was downstairs in the basement watching this film for the first time. And when Godzilla melted down and that, you know, Godzilla's Requiem plays and it's just super, super sad. Uh, I mean, I, I cried as a kid. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. Like I did. Like it was so sad because it's like you've seen I you still see your, 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 when that your thing favorite comes. character just, I don't just die a horrible death. And I'm just if like, you don't cry, oh, you don't. Oh my have gosh. To you know? Um, so it it's great. It it is fantastic. Yeah. Can't, can't I still cry as a scene. Okay. <laughs> All right. 1998. I wonder what people are gonna what are what are we gonna say with this? What are we gonna oh no? I like it. Yeah. I am, <laughs> one I am one of those people. Yes, guys. I do like the nineteen ninety eight film. And I like it because to me. Nineteen ninety eight. I agree with him most of the Heisei stuff. Except for because of his one Godzilla too, I'll probably put that in S. But and King Godzilla B and and Space Godzilla B or Bob well, would say I hate because it's too it's a lot different from mine, but I'll probably put Space Godzilla man. And because of that's but ninety eight and like ninety eight and like oh god oh god why is ninety eight and like I feel like I just don't understand the love this movie gets in recent years I I just hate this poem I'm sorry I don't like it I don't like it at all I I hate it. I just find that it's one of the worst because of the film that I was seeing. I just don't love this film. It's just so bad. The human character is unforgettable. Deception of Hank Azaria's character and the French dude. Most of them are pretty annoying. And they're all annoying. I just hate the characters. It's just so bland to me. I just don't like these characters at all. They're just no. Just no. Because in 1988, it's just terrible. A terrible film. I just. And for the first temp of American Godzilla film, yeah, I'm glad G14 came out and improved on it. Not by much, but improved on it. I still think the best American Godzilla film is King of the Monsters, but yep. 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 I'm going to for you in this video. Me. Here's the thing. At the time, like at the time, I understand why this film was not loved, right? I get it. It's way too different. Godzilla in it is just not um it's it doesn't feel like Godzilla. I understand that. But here's the thing. Nowadays, right? Like now like think about what we've gotten in terms of Godzilla nowadays. Shin Godzilla, the you know, uh the monster planet Godzilla uh godzilla from singular point like these these different incarnations and and radical changes that they've done to the godzilla character zilla doesn't seem so odd anymore does he he really seems like oh it's just another radical change of the character but i think the only reason this film didn't do well or people didn't like it was because we didn't have anything that radical yet but now we have so looking back at 98 it's really not that bad so when i look at 1998 to me, I'm like, yeah, that is Godzilla because it's just a different incarnation of him. I, I no longer am one of those people that are like, well, it's it's a fun monster movie, but it's not a Godzilla movie. It's like, no, it is a Godzilla movie. It's just a very different Godzilla. And um, 
I, I enjoyed it. I do. Like, I don't know. I, I think I, I still consider it's fun. It's so entertaining. Great. It's cheesy. It's I turn your brain off. It's, you know, yeah. it's like it's the 90s version of a monster verse film. There you go. Like, just, yep. <laughs> what, what more do you want? Right. Actually, absolutely. I think a lot of people need to sort of get over it, <laughs> like need to get over the hate for 98 and just hey, that kind of rhymed uh, and just just try to look at it in a different way. In a, you know, I don't know. So that's just me. But um, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the 98 series is not listed in this tier list. I'm also the Hanna-Barbera stuff is not listed, but if I, if I were to, to rate the 98 animated series and the Hanna-Barbera stuff, I would say that I dislike them. Uh, I, I don't care for Hanna-Barbera Godzilla and I don't care for the, for the 98 series. I know a lot of people are like, what? You don't like the animated? I don't. I think that, I think the art style is horrible and I, I think, Oh, oh, Godzilla Jr. has atomic breath, so that automatically makes it better. No, I don't. I don't find it fun at all. I, so that's just me. That's just me. I know, I'm gonna get a lot of animated show haters, but I don't care. Um, okay. All right, bringing it back, Godzilla Millennium. I. You know, I go back and forth with this one with Godzilla 2000, but I'm not gonna lie, I love it. I love Godzilla 2000. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Godzilla 2000 to me is, um, I think I also have a lot of memories with it because it was the, yeah, it was the first Godzilla. Well, okay. 98 technically would be the first film that I saw in theaters as a kid, but 2000 was the first Japanese Godzilla film I saw in theaters. So that uh, I, I liked. Um, And I think that, that brings a lot of the first Japanese Godzilla, you know, too, but um, (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Uh, as one twice. So. I don't really know what what there is to hate about Godzilla 2000. I would strongly recommend watching the Japanese version. And this is weird. A lot of people say the American version is better. I don't understand that. I've never understood that. I think the American version butchers a lot, a lot of the characters and some things like that. I understand that the film, uh, this you know, the special effects haven't aged well because this is where toho was starting to use cgi and like green screen effects and it yeah it didn't look great i'll i'll admit but i think it's just a fun movie i think that i mean the millennium design is so cool and iconic looking or amazing the music is so great uh yeah raid stick <laughs> wait when did guzzle 2000 get released theatrically yeah man guzzle 2000 came out in 19 19- it was yeah 2000 in japan it was 1999 but, but no, we, America, it had a short run in America. Uh, didn't do well, <laughs> obviously, with ticket sales and all that stuff because people were still hung up with 98. So it wasn't the best idea to have 2000 come out right after because people thought it was a sequel and it just wasn't, you know, whatever. But, and it, and it, sort, of, uh, it sort of put Toho in a very hard place in terms of finances for the rest of the Millennium series because every film didn't do well essentially they just kept on losing money but um yeah i don't know uh godzilla 2000 is just super entertaining to me um yeah all right godzilla versus mega gears this is the only millennium film that i would say a meh at um it's mm. again i like how i love my i'm not gonna lie um, it's not gonna do it continue it's, it's, as a kid i was confused because i thought it was a sequel because it was the same godzilla suit but nope it's not it's a completely different thing and this is what made the millennium series very unique is that all the movies were their own separate can- canon canonicity whatever um but I don't know. Again, it's a giant bug flying creature, and I just can't gravitate to her. So Mega Gears herself, I've just never been a fan of. Um, the The last battle's cool, though. I do I do like the final battle in this film. It is very fun, um, and the music's great too. Uh, but it for some reason the film's just kind of like, eh, you know, like I, I could watch it and maybe be entertained, but then I might also fall asleep. So that's why it's at a meh category. Again, not saying it's bad or or good. It's just, eh. Yeah, so okay. Of course, GMK. I don't even have. To, I mean, do I have to explain why this film is an S tier? I mean, it's like this film <laughs> peak millennium era, right? I mean, you can't go wrong with this film. The music, the special effects, the directing, the characters, the human story, the drama, 
the monsters themselves, Godzilla himself being one of the most terrifying Godzillas at the time and just being this un unstoppable force, right? And to be honest, Mothra, she was kind of cool in this one. Not going to lie. I liked her design. I, I think Mothra's design in this was pretty good. And I also like how they flipped King Ghidorah's role to being a good guy. I thought that was pretty cool too. Baragon, I love Baragon in this one. I think he's really cute, but uh, very sad that he gets like murdered so fast and in a horrible way. Um, I would have preferred yeah, the original uh, pitch where it would have been Angerus, Baron, and Baragon to be the Earth Guardians. But I still think for what we got, it's still a defining moment in the Godzilla franchise. It's just fantastic. Agreed. Everything about it. Agreed. It's 10 out of 10. There's Agreed. nothing Agreed. I don't like about it. So, yeah. Now we get to All right, Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla. This one I like. I do, <gasps> I do like Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. No. Um, no, no, those no, no, no. Uh, just the re okay. Kiryu as as a Mecha Godzilla, I will say here, uh, is my favorite Mecha Godzilla version of him um, because he's like a mix of both the Showa and Heisei. He is very agile, has a cool, sleek design. But he also can be a tank, right? And uh, also the idea that these are the original bones of Godzilla. Like, we all know the story. It's fantastic. Like, that's such a cool idea, right? Yeah. One thing I will say about the Kiryu duology is the human story in it. Well, actually, I, I, I take that back. In the first one with the female main character, it's one of she's one of the best female leads in any Godzilla film. She has such an amazing story arc or like character arc um, in it. And it's, it's, I, I really love it. Um, it's a very engaging story. And uh, then Godzilla himself is fantastic too. He's, you know, he's mean. He's what Godzilla is supposed to be really, in my opinion. And, uh, and the action scenes are great, but the defining reason why, I like this Mechagodzilla film the most, even though technically I should put this in love now that I'm thinking about it because I like this film more than the show of Mechagodzilla films for one reason. And I actually like it more than any of the Mechagodzilla stuff is because this is the only, and no one talks about this, which is so weird. This is the only film that is just Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla. The first one, King Caesar butts in. The second one, Titanosaurus butts in. The he the Heisei one, Rodan butts in. Um, later in Tokyo SOS, Mothra butts in. In um, I think the next time, City on the Edge of Battle doesn't count. <laughs> um, and then of course in Godzilla vs Kong, um, Kong is there to mess up the you know the whole fight. Right? It's the only film. It is the only film that is just strictly Godzilla fighting Mechagodzilla. And that's what makes it so cool because you're focused on just those two characters and nothing else great. is distracting you from them. And I really like that. So it's great. Now, in terms of Tokyo SOS, I actually dislike Tokyo SOS. For all, for all of the praise that I just gave against Mechagodzilla, Tokyo SOS, to ugh, Tokyo SOS, for me drop the ball i don't know i don't know what happened but i think it's because well you guys see a, a, a reoccurring theme mothra's in it <laughs> <laughs> i mean seriously guys i i i don't know what is with mothra but it's like when she pops in she overtakes the film and it's like when you have you have godzilla versus kiryu and it was like yes i just want these two guys to fight at the end Godzilla's walking away with a scar on his chest and they're like, we're going to get you. And it's on the cliffhanger and they come back and it's essentially Kiryu is now not as big of an important thing. I mean, he's still important integral to the series or to the, to the film, but it's like Mothra is now all of a sudden pushed into this universe. Cause technically this is a, its own universe. It's not canon to any other thing except for the original film. And and it's like, wh why? Like, wh why does Mothra have to be here? You know? And so that's one aspect I don't like. In terms of the special effects and just the way the film looks in terms of visuals, this is the best looking Godzilla film out of the Sudimation era of Toho stuff. 
in my opinion, Tokyo SOS looks the best in terms of pseudimation special effects out of all the films. Uh, the Showa Heisei uh, Millennium, I feel like Tokyo Tokyo SOS, SOS, Tokyo SOS was like the best in but, terms of visual <laughs> effects and suit design and all that stuff. That's, you know, it's good things. I'll give that too. But it's just still the whole film just kind of meh. Um, Andrew Di Dif uh, Filippo, I can't say your last name, Andrew. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I can't say it. Just, I, I'll put it in meh. It's meh. It's because it's still very entertaining. The battle, the last battle is cool, but the human stuff isn't as interesting as the previous one. But it's it's meh. I'll say meh. That's that's what it is. Oh, so, and that's the one's final yeah. was. He bet. Um, okay. Wisely. <laughs> So let's <laughs> next here. Okay, Godzilla Final Wars. Duh, duh. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Die, I will die on this hill. I will die on this hill. Final Wars is like the best thing. And, okay, and here's what's really funny. You know, you, people, and I actually kind of had to wonder this too. I'm kind of a hypocrite, right? I talk a lot of trash about the MonsterVerse being too goofy and crazy and zany and all that stuff. Yet here I am going. Final Wars is the best thing ever. But it's because Final Wars, again, is its own thing. It's not part of a series that started out serious, right? That had a lot of potential and then got silly. No, no, no. It's like this film just went in full-blown balls to the wall. Here we go. Bam. Final Wars. Like, it's it's awesome. It's amazing. Hey, Paul. It's <laughs> awesome. Hey, it's been a long time, Paul. How you doing, man? Um, it's yes. So... The one thing I'll never understand is the Showa fans. Yeah. And this is no disrespect to Showa fans. It's... I understand. Oh, see, here's see, it's like okay, Godzilla Fan Freaks is in the chat. As soon as I said Final Wars, Godzilla Fan Freaks pops up. I swear to God, dude, have you been watching this whole time or, or did you just hear Final Wars and you just had to pop in? <laughs> I swear. I know. No, it's all good, man. Um but the thing that I don't understand and I, I, I will never, ever understand is why Showa fans love all the stuff about the Showa craziness and goofiness and, and dumbness, right? And they they trash on Final Wars. And I'm like, I'm like, Final Wars is literally the modern version or the I guess I'd say the millennium version of the Showa stuff. It is literally yeah. a remake of the Strong Monsters. And I, I just... I, I can't it it just boggles my mind like all the crazy stuff that happens in the Showa series that's that's like cheesy dumb crazy out there yet final wars no no it can't do that it can't I, be like that well, I, 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 I just i'll never final understand wars. it I'll, I'll, I, I will never understand the hate for final wars but in terms of final wars though oh my god it is so fun it is the most enjoyable film ever ever it no Godzilla fan freaks it is it is you're wrong you're just you're just objectively wrong <laughs> no Godzilla fan freaks and i we go back and forth on this it's hilarious yeah um but everything about this film is just fantastic and probably the best aspect of this film is the bad guy i i've ne there is no other villain in the godzilla series that is as entertaining to watch as the as the controller guy that that controller x dude whatever like it is it is the best i'm so yes. happy final wars exists and i love how it ticks off so many showa fans <laughs> so uh, final wars over to strong monsters any day oh my god yeah so okay um so there we go that is pretty much it for the i would say can we call it classic era of Godzilla? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Now, Godzilla 2014. Over the years, when I first saw the film, uh, with all the hype, the hype, the hype train, all that stuff, and you guys were actually there for this back in the day, I would say that I loved it. Then after a few watchings, I went to liking it. Then there was a time where I actually sort of was meh with it, close to being disliking actually but because of what the monsterverse has become lately and after re-watching Godzilla 2014 a few more times over the years it has now crawled its way back to S tier for me 
because there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons why but the big thing is is because 2014 no matter what you say about the monsterverse you have to give the monsterverse praise because of the without the monsterverse we wouldn't have gotten shin godzilla minus one we godzilla would not have continued in japan i don't i really don't feel so there's a lot to be said about 2014 of what it did to the franchise or what it did for the franchise yeah i agree now I in terms that, of I just the character the human character stuff in it i feel <laughs> next to like skull island i feel like the human stuff in 2014 was so it was good after like hindsight looking at it in hindsight compared to what the human stuff we have now in the monsterverse there you in my opinion you can't compete with the 2014 stuff i still hate the fact they killed off brian cranston halfway through the film i will admit that was annoying i'm not going to say that, that that was a good thing it wasn't i think brian cranston should have stayed throughout the whole film in fact brian cranston should have been a main player throughout like the majority of the monsterverse along with dr sarazawa i i i will say that but i don't hate aaron taylor johnson as much as people do i don't i've never fully understood that i think he plays his character pretty straight as in terms of a, of a guy who has a lot of past trauma like childhood trauma and being a military guy like i just feel like that's how someone would act they just wouldn't be very i, I don't know like um, i just i feel like he did a good job boring for me um yeah and the the overall special effects with this film the camera angles the cinematography the amount of realism and 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 just yeah the groundedness that this film has was amazing grounded, yeah though the other thing that i dislike oh, though about it was better. the false advertising the fact that we thought godzilla was the big enemy but it actually was the mutos i do think the mutos are fantastic but i do think that 2014 would have been a lot it would have been better as a solo film i really do but um like the more it, it's it's like 1954 for me the more i watch 2014 the more i appreciate it and the more i find new things to what's that about supposed to mean it just it just happens that way for me um it probably has been the most rewatched film i've seen in the monsterverse so that that's got to stand for something right so okay uh shin godzilla love love me some shin godzilla shin godzilla fantastic the fact that Toho came back with a Godzilla film oh, and being super it. innovative and changing up the status quo and and showing us that Toho still still has it was amazing. Love the character design, love Shin Godzilla's look. And you know, I understand that some people they don't like Shin Godzilla because of the fact that there's not really a cast to follow, but that's not the point. Shin Godzilla is a very different film very very different film um it's not supposed to be focused on one character it's supposed to be focused on a group of people that are trying to cut through so much red tape in the government to try and help the country like that's Funny that's what it's about mom hates his um doing sports and, and i think when you understand that the this film has something. so much meat to it yeah, it doesn't and like so it. much metaphorical symbolism all that good stuff and it's like to me that's what godzilla is i godzilla, make it a, joke. We, so, a make godzilla film that needs to have a, a serious tone to it it needs to have the metaphorical allegories that to me that's just what godzilla is it to me in my opinion i know a lot of people agree but i also know a lot of people disagree but that's just that's just what it is you know um that's why almost every solo godzilla film well in fact every solo godzilla film is s tier for me because that's what godzilla is you know <laughs> so um and the different forms, yeah, they're fine. I mean, I will admit that the first two forms were kind of goofy looking. It's funny, um, it's about but the when the when That's the fourth form G. comes on shore, because I know there was like a first form, but we never got to see it. Was like the tadpole look or whatever. Um, I just, it's, it is such a, it's an experience, and I can watch Shin Godzilla over and over again and never be bored. Like it's just, it's such an engaging film, and I love it so much. Okay, now on to the anime trilogy. Okay, I'm just going to do this real quick. Anime trilogy, Monster Planet is meh. City on the Edge of Battle actually is the first hate. There we go. And uh, the third film is a meh. So let me explain what just happened. <laughs> Monster Planet 
was a very promising start. Very promising start to this cool new thing. Godzilla's never had an anime. It it would it would be so cool. Uh, let's see, Alphabet Soup. Hey Chris, how would a solo film would you do if Godzilla was a good guy? No, no, no. See, see, I, you. To me, Godzilla can't be a good guy. I'm sorry. Like, I I love the sh- I love Godzilla when he's fighting other bad guys and when he's saving the Earth or whatever. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's fine. To me, the real Godzilla is when he is a problem, when he is the bad guy, when he's the obstacle for humankind. To me, that's where I get most enjoyment out of watching Godzilla. So I wouldn't really prefer a solo film where he's a good guy because I don't know what they would do. There wouldn't be a conflict if he was a good guy if it was solo. So that's, yeah. Um, Okay, but back to planet Earth or planet of monsters, whatever. Monster planet, good Lord. (laughs) Um... It was just a very promising start. Everything about it, the setup was really cool. The human characters it's were somewhat interesting, hilarious. even though maybe a little bit annoying. But in terms of anime, it was kind of tropey too. I mean, the main character being this angsty guy, that's been done plenty of times. Um, that's true for anime, yeah. But until uh, the final season. It, uh, by the second film, it's awful. It's bad. Toho really screwed the pooch with it. Um, and the characters, the the story just goes in this crazy direction where like now all of a sudden there's this stuff that takes over people, the nano metal or whatever it was. They kill off a lot of characters. Uh, Mechagodzilla was going to be in it, but now he just got reduced to a living city. So It's so weird. Everything that they talked about made no sense. There was so much scientific gargle, garble, whatever. And I just couldn't get behind. I was like, no, I, I just, I don't know what's going on. Just don't know. By the time the third film came out, I, I had an open mind about it. And I think that the third film at least had a climactic ending. I think that it, it got better. Um, in my opinion, I, I think it's the best out of the trilogy. I mean, that's not saying much, I know, but but in terms of the trilogy itself, I, I do think that um, it, it at least was more engaging because it was the climax, it was the finale, things were starting to close and all that. But what kills the film is the ending. It's like, oh my God, like, what's, what's the main character's name? Har- Haruo or something like that? Um, he, he decides to fly off and get killed by godzilla at the end or something like that like it was such a it was just such a um oh turner jenkins no worry man see you later uh it was just such a weird way to end this whole trilogy after all they fought for right after all haro worked for he just at the end he dies for nothing he just like kills himself and it's like oh my gosh like why why so the whole trilogy yes it just left a bad taste in a lot of fans mouth it's very hard to find people that like the whole trilogy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. I actually recently rewatched King of the Monsters. And I'm putting it at meh. Um, you know, this is the start of the monster verse when it got a little, a little silly ish. And it became more of a Marvel MCU style, you know, with like dialogue. The biggest thing I dislike about Godzilla King of the Monsters, the 2019 film, is the human stuff. It is, in, ter- in terms of like some of the dialogue, I, I cannot stand some of the lines, I the, the comedy relief part. stuff by it was a scientist first couple, dude or any of that it, it takes me out every time saw, like oh it, yeah this is this is one of those Dr. Seuss all let him fight he all this. Oh, I loved it when he it said that I'm like dude that's not like that's shut up like awesome. the lines that this guy would say I don't blame the actor because he was acting he just he had a he had a job but the but some of the directing and the line deliveries and the ugh, it's ugh when you're trying to play it so serious and you have all these comedic relief moments, it's just not funny. Also the, um, raid Steckham, uh, a world without silliness would be quite dull. No, I understand that, but sometimes too much silliness can take you out, especially if you try to try to do what MCU does, like with, with the Marvel movies, you can't, it, it's not applicable to everything. You can have comedy relief, but you got to do it right. 
you know um and uh, yeah in terms of special effects i will say that this film with his visuals and everything is is breathtaking this, this film like there are so many frames of this film that could be a wallpaper right like it's that good um they they nailed godzilla perfectly in this they in my opinion king Ghidorah in this is the best incarnation that they've ever done uh and it's wasn't even done by toho which i find hilarious but i do think king Ghidorah in this is the best incarnation because he's he's like super intimidating super powerful it takes a lot for him to go down like fantastic stuff um yeah mothra now for all of you guys who you know i know i've been saying i don't like mothra I actually love the MonsterVerse Mothra. I think Mothra in in this film, and uh, that's all I'll say, <laughs> um, is is she is awesome. She's such an ass kicker in in these films. Um, Rodan also did was done very well. I think Rodan also was amazing. Um, the thing too was the music. I know a lot of people talk about how the soundtrack of this film is the best. I will admit it is very, very epic and it definitely gets your blood pumping when the music starts kicking up and the main theme plays. Like, it's nice. It is nice to, to see a American Godzilla film play the American or the, play the actual theme of Godzilla. It, it is nice. Um, it was something that 2014 was lacking and also the future uh, MonsterVerse films lack. Um, Bear McCready. That was great. Bear McCready, yeah, doing really good. But the human story, the plot is so thin uh the I, I i still don't understand the motivations behind wanting to work with the terrorist group or whatever and blah 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 and also the the guy i don't remember his name but the terrorist guy the eco terrorist dude i can't remember his name he was such a wasted villain by the ways he could have been <clears throat> he could have played such a crucial role in the rest of the films but they only used him for one film, and that's it. It was like, oh my gosh, like blah. He's in a novelization. Blah blah blah. So, so um, also again, they don't bring anyone from 2014 in this film, <clears throat> so it sort of disconnects in terms of the continuity. Like, you're, oh yeah, Alan Jonah. Yeah, thank you. Um, like, you're not gonna bring Ford Brody. You're not gonna talk to him because you've because he's like one of the people that has had direct, uh, like connection with godzilla hello like why are you not going to bring back the character i don't know so i've never understood that um overall though it it is it is entertaining of a film but i find myself dozing off and to be honest it is the least watched film i've seen in the monsterverse because there's just a part of me that's just like eh, eh. oh dr serizawa the highest order you reminded me um the scene, though, where Dr. Serizawa sacrifices himself to bring Godzilla back, that was peak in terms of emotional drama. I will say the MonsterVerse nailed it with that. That scene was so great. Great every time. I get chills every time. Like, oh, oh yeah. So, okay. Next. Godzilla versus Kong. Uh, if if I'm if I'm really gonna be honest with myself, I'm gonna put it in meh. I know a lot of people are gonna be upset by that, but the, uh, but the monster you're verse not, you're not one of them. I don't like as a yeah. whole. I'm it's one. meh for me because I, because it it really is yeah. turning into the MCU, and right now the MCU I'm completely don't care about. Right. So the the monster verse is starting to turn into that where it's just getting it's just getting so silly where I can't I, I I don't have any I don't have any connection with these films. There's just nothing there for me to to hold on to um, after I've watched the films. Like I, I I the credits roll and I feel nothing. And that's just not I didn't feel that way with 2014. When the credits rolled to 2014, I was like, damn, that was a film. With these other two monsters and Skull Island too. Skull, remember, guys, Skull Island, I also really love. In fact, Skull Island would probably be on love S tier. Um, credits rolled. I felt something with King of the Monsters and Godzilla vs Kong. I didn't feel anything. Does not mean the films were bad. Doesn't mean that I hate them. 
the the you know King Kong, well Kong. Um, uh, why is he is very entertaining in this when he's fighting Godzilla? The effects again are fantastic. Um, you know it 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 is no just uh, it, it's 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 a spectacle. You know that's what it is. It's a turn your brain off, watch these two giants fight each other, and that's you know that's it. The one thing that killed this film for me in particular, when it comes to Godzilla versus Kong, was the introduction of Mecha Godzilla being just, just put in this film for no reason other than just to say, "Hey, we have a Hollywood Mecha Godzilla." I, <laughs> I, I remember when I was in the theaters because I, I've heard the rumors, right? I heard the rumors about Mecha Godzilla being in this film, and and I was very like skeptical about it. And I told myself, and actually, uh, this was at the time where my wife, I was talking to her about it. And I remember telling her, I was like, you know what? If Godzilla and King Kong team up and fight Mecha Godzilla, I'm going to be so pissed. And so when we're in the theaters, when we're watching this, and I remember, um, <laughs> I remember the scene when uh, they're, they're like introducing Mecha Godzilla. It's like he's like all curled up or whatever. And he pops in. I remember that my girl or my wife was looking over at me. She was kind of like, she, you know, she, she knew she was laughing the whole time. And I, I was just like, I got so mad. Cause I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Mecha Godzilla really is in this. Oh my God. And then the final battle happens. And then when Kong decides to help Godzilla, I'm just like, Oh my God, they did a Batman versus Superman thing. You've got to be kidding. And I was so disappointed that, that, Horror the film for me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I can't can't get over that. Like, I've never been able to get over the fact that, of course, they do the whole team up thing because the directors or the producers, whatever, were too scared to have a definitive winner. So they have to have them sort of team up at the end because that's because no one wants to have one of their monsters lose. I'm like, come on. Like at least Toho back in the '60s, they at least sort of made a definitive winner. They sort of it was just Godzilla and Kong fighting. There was no other interruption. That's how it needs to be done. I can't stand versus movies where they just team up and then fight the other thing. No, I, I want to watch Godzilla versus Kong. I want to watch Batman versus Superman. I don't want to watch Batman teams up with Superman at the end when there was a slight miscalculate or understanding and then they fight the other big guy. Like, no, like that's not what I bought the ticket for. <laughs> you know? um, yeah. So, yeah, that it was just kind of meh, in my opinion. Um, Mechagodzilla himself, not that bad. Um, I mean, he was cool, you know, but yeah. Uh, Paracocket, Godzilla was definitely the winner in GVK. Yes, he was, but at the same time, it was so not well visualized. Yeah, he's like standing on Kong and he's roaring at him, but it's like that's how he went. Like, to me, the Monster vs. Godzilla would not have done that. We saw Godzilla mercilessly kill every other monster before this one, right? Like he, oh, I don't care if I lose subscribers in this video. I could care less. <laughs> um, if the 2014 movie, right? Godzilla tail slams Muto right into the building, impaling him. Then he does the kiss of death on the female Muto. Then uh, on in the comics and all stuff, he you know brutalizes a lot of other monsters in the, in the expanded material. Then in Godzilla: King of the Monsters, he burns King Ghidorah to a crisp, grabbing the head and then burning him through his mouth with his atomic breath. Now all of a sudden, you're telling me that this giant ape that put up a really good fight that really ticked off Godzilla, and now you're now he's just going to yell at him. That. No, that is not what this Godzilla would do. He would have he would have blasted Kong's face off. Totally. He would have myrtleized Kong. But no, we can't do that because we can't have a, a we can't have a you know whatever. I mean, okay, sweaty Joey, yeah, technically he does kill him, but he like what, his heart's gonna stop? And if it wasn't for the humans resuscitating him, then he would have went. It's like meh bleh, you know? No. Nah. So um it's meh yeah it's just a meh so i know a lot of monsterverse fans don't like me and i don't i don't care <laughs> i it's my opinion like these films are just they they are showa they're like the showa stuff for me it's just 
turn your brain off entertainment, but there's nothing I can grab from it like the S tier movies for me. So that's that's just it. So, um, okay, Singular Point. Singular Point is a meh. Yeah, Singular, singular Point is meh. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I, I've seen the series twice, and I still have no idea what any of that was <laughs> you know like I, I i really tried to understand singular point and i'm just like i i just don't understand what is going on in this uh in this thing i somewhat yeah. understand um, what's going on the art style was cool i i i don't like the fact that the monsters were cgi or like 3d models i wish they were also hand-drawn like the human stuff because i think anime can. looks better when it is like at least the the draw I, I know i know sometimes it's not um actual drawn because now computers graphics and things like that but at least the old 2d style right of of like anime um but singular point just kind of came out and it was like wow this is kind of cool and very different and i applaud toho for again doing something that's very unique and different Agreed. i just i just didn't understand it <laughs> like i'm i'm not big brain enough to understand this film i guess or or the series um so it's uh meh for me because i don't dislike it because it was entertaining for what it was but um yeah i just uh yeah don't know hopefully hopefully toho doesn't give up completely on the animes thing because i think i think gamma rebirth shows that that we can still have a kaiju anime that works um so i hope toho comes back to the whole anime thing with Godzilla and does something that's just more traditional, I think. Is yeah, I need to do. So best. that's, I don't know, that's me, but. All right. Um, mm, that's okay. The Monarch Show. I know this is movies, but we're also counting some of this other stuff here. The Monarch Show, I liked. I liked the Monarch Show because it was serious and grounded and it was bringing it back to the 2014 roots and it was just it was good it was good i know it wasn't great i know there were a lot of things that people were annoyed about with it but i don't know man the monarch show was super super fun to watch uh i i i really really dug it and i think people disliked it maybe for some maybe reasons here and there because there wasn't enough monster stuff but that wasn't the point with the show it was supposed to it was supposed to really delve deep into the monarch organization and that's yeah, what i really did. wanted for a long time i i wanted like 24 like 2014 set up uh the the idea of the monarch's organization right and no other well okay skull island also did a really good job too with intrigue but then all of a sudden it's like it just seemed like monarch became this super high-tech yeah, military op like thing and it just never it just kind of lost that intrigue or i or mystery i guess um but the monarch show is so it's so good it i i really liked it it has some mcu style dialogue that can be a little cringy here and at here points the uh i'd say the not the modern timeline but the past timeline right uh was a lot better in terms of a storyline like the, the 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 past parts you guys know what i'm talking about if you've seen it so um yeah i do hope it gets a season two i want to see more especially because they ended it with a cliffhanger I, I won't spoil it i guess because i see a lot of people haven't seen it yet so i won't spoil but um yeah okay next minus one it's an atomic di no i'm not even gonna i can't even i like I can't, you can't have it S tier automatically, minus one. Guys, there, there is, it is perfect. Minus one is perfect. And I, I'm not going to go too much into it because I made a 30 minute like a 30 plus minute video reviewing minus one plus like an hour long discussion on the channel. So go watch that. Um, if you want to know like more of my opinions on minus one in detail, but good God, minus one, it was literally, literally everything I wanted 
in a Godzilla film, in a modern Godzilla film. It it was dark and serious. Godzilla was the bad guy. The metaphorical allegory, theming, symbolism was there. It was just the special effects were fantastic. Godzilla himself was the most terrifying Godzilla we've ever seen. And I just it the film was just amazing. Like I just I can't get over the fact that we had that minus one came out. I'm like, oh my god, like we really had this this kind of film come out. Oh. And dare I say, now again, 84 is still my personal favorite, only because of childhood whatever memories. But objectively, I do well, I can't say objectively because it still is all subjective. In my opinion, I think Minus One is the best Godzilla film ever made to date. I just think that I just think that it does everything that Godzilla that a Godzilla movie should do. And it filled everything of my Godzilla bucket that I want. And I, I want a sequel like Shin Godzilla. A lot of people wanted a sequel. I'm okay with Shin Godzilla being a one and done, but minus one. Nah, man, I want minus two. Like I, I want to see more of this universe. I want to see more of the characters. The characters were so great. I've never cared for a cast so much until minus one. The music was so different and unique and played to the film's strengths. It just, I, I, it's fantastic. Go watch my review. I, like it is just if you want to know more. It, it is peak Godzilla, and I, I, I do think it is the best. It does overtake Fifty Four, and I know that might be heresy to say, but the only reason I say that is just because Minus One did what Nineteen Fifty Four did back in the day. It was that crazy, right? It's just a modern day thing. I, I don't know. So that's. And yes, it you know it won the it won the Oscar stuff and the, the awards and it, it made a lot of money, which is fantastic. So I, yeah, just I yeah, not much more I can say. Okay, here we go, guys. The reason why I've held off doing this until this film came out. Okay, Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire. What do I think? Where would I put it now? For some of you here, uh there might be some spoilers coming at you right now because this is going to be my time to really talk about it in terms of that. So um, where would I put Godzilla X Kong? It's got to be in meh because it, <laughs> it is uh, okay. Look for a, a non spoiler part of me discussing this film. It is what I said on my video and then in my post it is cheesy, completely dumb fun. Yeah. Um, that doesn't Spoiled. mean that it's great, I'm though. Back up. Um, but I think about the Planet Batman trilogy, I agree with Super City on Edge Battle, GPK, and I don't agree with Single Point. I'll put that in A. A. I like I like single point. I don't know what is it with single point. I just like it for some reason. I just don't understand where it is. I, I just like single point. I think it did everything that the enemy trilogy should have done and improved on it. I love it. I love the anime I love that's a single point. <laughs> what I the the thing is about Godzilla X Kong is that it has gone it has jumped the shark in terms of I can't take this universe seriously anymore at all. There, It, it is just so it's so goofy. It is it is the 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 it is the Showa era incarnate <laughs> like like the late 60s, early 70s. It is like it is a modern interpretation of that. And I will give it respect to that, that I understand that that's what the filmmakers were wanting to go for. That was their direction. They wanted to make something that was like the Showa stuff. I, yeah. Now, I'm not going to compare it to Minus One because that's not fair. The, they're two different films. And this is something that I think a lot of people need to understand is that they, 
we you it's it's hard not to compare it i understand because minus one came out recently too so it's like whatever but it still is that different to where i i you have to judge the film based on the previous MonsterVerse films and just on its own merit. I, I, I just, I, you can't look at minus one and GXK and go, oh well, this film did better than that. They're just so different, so different. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's that's that's really what I can say with that. Now, in terms, I, I'm, I'm actually, I mean, I don't think I can go into too spoiler territory with it. For me, again, I when the when the credits rolled. I didn't feel anything because it was just so much. That's what it was. Like it was a lot. It was, there's just so much stuff happening. I'm like, Oh my God. And, uh, it, uh, okay. Let's, let's start by this, the human plot. Right. So again, for some, I'm going to try to be as least spoiler as we can with this, but, um, the human stuff is completely paper thin. This is the most thin human plot we've ever had in these MonsterVerse films. I mean, we have gone from up here with Skull Island in 2014 down to the bare minimum, right? I mean, it's like the bare minimum for human stuff. Um, I do like how they brought back characters from the previous film. I, it makes it feel more connected. I... I do like how those some of those characters are back. I will say my favorite character was Gia because she played a big role in the film and I actually really liked her in the in the previous film and so seeing her again was nice and I liked how she had a little bit more character development in like finding her place and everything like that. I thought that was nice. Um everything else though the human stuff was just kind of bleh. like yeah, that's just whatever that it was. Um the special effects, okay, obviously it's a Hollywood budget and they're coming off of Godzilla vs. Kong, so there's really not much I can say in terms of special effects. It is a CGI best, I mean, for sure. I mean, it is just everything looks like it's in a video game. Um, but, I mean, I'll say for what it what it was, it was really cool. I do think art artistically, um, I think it was... A little too colorful in a way i know that kind of sounds bad but it i think it i don't there's big emphasis on a lot of saturation with colors i think godzilla versus king or uh godzilla king of the monsters did a little bit better in terms of like having this these really awesome looking set pieces in terms of visual effects or whatever but i i don't know um then the the, the human stuff um no, I already talked about the human stuff. The the monsters themselves. Okay, let's talk about Godzilla, right? Everyone's going crazy about pink Godzilla. Oh my god, what is this? I don't care. I think it looks fine. I I we've seen Godzilla go through so many different incarnations and versions. I think it's really silly that people are getting upset about a color scheme. Like Shin Godzilla had purple uh lasers coming out of his back and his tail. I, I don't think it's far fetched for Godzilla to have pink dorsal plates. Like I don't understand why some people are upset about that it doesn't change anything godzilla is still godzilla like I don't, I don't i don't care about that godzilla looks cool in this one i like it i think he he's like a millennium he's like a godzilla 2000 look you know he has like a purple pinkish uh dorsal plates kong in this one obviously this film was a lot about kong really it was more of a kong just, film than it was godzilla and i went in so we can film um really the thing with kong is he becomes uh, I, I will. I will say he definitely can now say that he is like King Kong now. Not to say spoil, not to give too many spoilers, but I would say that he is officially now the King Kong that we we've all known. The power glove thing was really dumb. Uh, he the way he got the power glove was extremely underwhelming. Um, I won't go further into it, but it was just kind of whatever. It just happens in the film. Like, there's no buildup. It's just like, oh, boom. Okay, he has the power glove. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. Um, Suko, the little baby god, or uh, <laughs> the little Kong. Um, I thought I was not gonna like him, but I actually really enjoyed the the little character. I thought I, I actually really dug uh, 
little Suko. I thought he was fun. He was cute. He was entertaining. I think I actually mean, liked that he liked Like he actually had a purpose. Like yeah. he actually helped in the film. No, like he did. He did a thing in the film that was like super integral for for them to win the battle. I'll leave it at that. Um, in terms of uh, the Scar King guy, um, Scar King was okay. I would say he. He's kind of a weird monster villain. Uh, a little too humanoid, I guess. Maybe I don't know. It, I, I'm still sort of figuring him out, right? Like I'm still having to sit with with that character. Wasn't as uh, oh, see you later, Nico. No worries, man. Um, <clears throat> wasn't as bad as I thought he was gonna be, but he was still just kind of like okay. I mean, he he was somewhat intimidating. It felt good when he got his comeuppance, but. He was fine. Yeah. And then uh, Shimu, Shimo, Shimo, whatever. Um, I feel like a completely underwhelming character. Um, I don't like what the character was. The um, Again, I, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but the relationship between Shimo and Scar King, I didn't really care for. And then what they did with Shimo after, like when the credits rolled, like what Shimo's role is now going to play well, is very weird um in terms of design i mean yeah she's okay it's fine whatever you know so um now spoilers there is a certain character that does appear in this film that i've liked in previous films but also have not liked in the old toho films and i'll let you guys figure that out but when she came in it was pretty badass that's all I'll say. So she was a welcomed addition. I, I for the first time actually, she was a welcomed addition. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, again, in terms of the fight scenes with Godzilla Wait, Kong, of course it was fun. Of course films? it was entertaining. I'm not. I, I can't. Which I'm not going to sit <laughs> here and watch this film and be like, no, this is boring. Like, no, it was very fun to watch. It was just a lot. There's a reason why you need human stuff to break up the the monster stuff. I know some people think that Godzilla films just need to be monster things, but no, no, you need to have breaks. You need to have certain things that break the film up before it just gets mind. I mean, I mean, I, I was exhausted. I've seen the film twice. I saw it with my wife and I saw it with my parents and both times I was super exhausted when the credits rolled because it was just so much. And also I had a headache both times after the film ended that's not really a good thing, right? <laughs> you shouldn't, you know, you think like, yeah, oh, I had a headache one time, maybe that was just a, a, a I also had a headache. I didn't have a headache coming out of minus one. So it's like, it just kind of shows the amount of craziness that's going on screen, right? Um, so it's funny it because I love Final Wars. Just, and that's to me, that's it's just Wars. another film in the MonsterVerse. And it just, it just doesn't do anything to, to enhance or innovate on the series. As far as I'm concerned, they're just going to, if, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the last film in the MonsterVerse. I'm pretty sure they're going to make more, especially because I guess Godzilla vs. Kong is making a lot of money at the box office. Um, but I think that I don't, there's, we can't go back to 2014. It's too late. We, we have gone so far to the other spectrum that 2014 doesn't even feel like it's in the same series. Like it really doesn't. Like looking at 2014 in the Monarch series, I'm like, I don't see how these fit in the same universe. It's it's that crazy of a difference. The last thing I'll say on this whole thing is I, regardless of how any of us feel, and I've said this before in posts and all that stuff, regardless of how we feel, I think it is an um, it has been an amazing time to be a fan of this franchise. You guys some of you remember, but a lot of you don't remember the time between 2004 and 2013. It was a desert. There was nothing going on in the franchise. It was a dead period. Oh, it I was remember. Horrible. I there remember. was nothing happening in the franchise other than like, you know, a few games like Godzilla Unleashed or whatever. But in terms of like big things happening, it was just like nothing 
nothing was going on. I would much rather live in this time where there is stuff going on and very exciting things, even if I don't fully like the certain thing that comes out. But the fact that we're living in this time where there is so much Godzilla content, it it's fantastic. And I think the fact that Minus One came out and Godzilla Kong around the same time has been an amazing display of the versatility of Godzilla as a franchise to see the complete opposites of, of tones and where this franchise goes. For me personally, I am on the side of the more darker, serious tone. That's just my side. I, I prefer that side, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to like the more funny stuff. I mean, you guys look at my tier list here. You do see that some of the funny show stuff is at S and a rank. It's not like I hate all the stuff that's goofy. It's just I prefer the more darker, serious stuff because that to me, that's just what Godzilla is. But the fact that we have both these films out and it's what they are is, I mean, this is a dream come true as a Godzilla fan, especially coming from that that dark age where it was like nothing was happening and, and we thought Godzilla was a dead franchise. Like it, it's I if you would have told me if you would have even told me in 2013 that we all of a sudden in 10 years, we're going to get all of this. I would have been like, no, you're a nut. You're a lunatic. There's no way Toho's going to do all this. Well, <laughs> here we are with just all this stuff. It's crazy. So the only thing we need now is an actual new Godzilla video game, <laughs> like a fighting game. But of course we're going to, you know, I'm putting my hopes into save the earth melee. So um, Zach, if you're listening, it's all on you, man. <laughs> so, but um yeah, so that's my list, guys. That's my tier list. That is that is my updated modern take on all the films. Um, again, the bottom can the bottom is really just a dislike. It's not a hate. Really, City on the Edge of Battle is the only one that I just can't really stand because it just totally floundered everything. But even the films that I don't like or like the least are still fond memories, you know, of my childhood for this franchise. Um, so, uh, I'm happy to see that there are a lot of movies in the S tier. I didn't think I loved as many films as I initially thought, but it's nice to see it. There's actually a good amount. So, um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it. So, um, yeah, you guys can post in the comments once this live stream gets, gets archived, post in the comments, what your tier list would have been. Uh, you know, I want to see what you guys think. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for sticking around the chat. There was a lot of you guys in the comments. I really appreciate it. Um, there was a lot of good conversations. Sorry. I, I couldn't, I couldn't respond to every comment because I was trying to stay focused on getting this done, but, um, really appreciate you guys. It was very fun to, to give my opinions on all these films. Um, so now that I've done this, I, I don't have to review them. I'm done. I'm not going to review these films cause I already did it here. So <laughs> no, no, no Godzilla fun <laughs> is coming. That's not, that's not happening. So um but yeah you may say that uh, now that is it guys so thank you so much for watching Eh? and watching this Eh? for those of you who were in the comments and uh yeah i will see you guys later stay tuned for whatever comes next and uh yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay big g fans I enjoy see this, but there are some stuff I disagree with. Let's see the Muffins goes a little stuff and yeah, I I don't know. It's not that bad of a reaction that I had with uh gum. If it's all kaiju this, but I do enjoy it. It's a good tier list, so I'll give it that. Some of the stuff I do agree with. For the most part, I agree with a few exceptions being the Mario and a uh, few of the show stuff. I agree, I don't agree with, but yeah, some of the say, uh, like mostly with all three of so that one I don't agree with. And you guys also saw me walk out on Guns of Cedar, so yeah, <laughs> I'm not a fan of Guns of Cedar, I just hate it. <laughs> Both that said, this is going to sign off, and remember. Stay big, G-Fans. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.